All right, John, I think I've got this figured out for you now for how to add videos. A couple of quirky things, um, but um, not something you can't overcome. So the first thing you want to do is figure out which video you want to put into a blog post on the website. Uh, and that's a little bit tricky depending on how you do it, if it comes from a playlist or if it's just a single video. Um, so if you click on an actual video title, bring up a single video in YouTube, um, you actually get this ID. Let's just pause this commercial, it's going to come up here. You actually get this ID all on its own right at the end, which is what you want. But if, for instance, you click on a video in a playlist, you just have to know what the ID is. So just give it a second. Let me pause this. So if you're down here, I'm just using skit guys because we do that. Um, so let's so say we pick on this video, but it's a part of a playlist. And so now when you look up here, there's a whole bunch more information at the end. But what you want is everything after the V equals up until the ampersand. That's your actual video ID that we want. So you want to copy that. You come back to our uh, list of news blog items. We create a new one. We'll unhide it. We'll give it a general. I'm going to add a new video option to that as well. Title it. We're just going to put a video post testing. If you want to put some text in, so maybe you want to describe the video, this is for you. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to create a open square bracket, type YouTube, space, paste in your code, and just say uh, video title, which is a graduation. And then you put a ending bracket. Now the only thing that this does that we don't want is it puts a HTML code in here sometimes. And so what we're going to do is we're going to click on toggle. We just want to make sure that there's no weird ampersand NBSP code in there. It should just be a blank space. As long as that's there, that's great. We can save this. Okay, we're going to go back. Now to our blog list, I'm going to refresh this listing, and now we're going to see there's our new video showing up in our post as expected. You can play it right here, and then there's a, actually a YouTube Direct link if they want to take you out to the actual YouTube. Um, you can put more than one video into your list as well, so if we go back and get another video, so let's say we want this one. And again, I'm just going to pause this. I'm going to go up here and find the V equals. I'm going to grab everything up to the ampersand, copy that. I'm going to go back. We're going to edit our post. And scroll down. We'll go in here again. We're going to go you, YouTube, spotlight, this. Situation two. I'm going to go like that. Now I'm going to check this again because I wanted to show you this. This is what gets inserted that we don't want. So we want to delete that. So just uh, let's just undo that real quick here now. So you got to get rid of this guy right here because it breaks it. For some reason it wants to do that. So you just want to go in and delete that. Put a space in there. You can click back out. And then you can save and close. Back to our blog posting here. We're going to refresh. So now we refresh and we've got actually both videos now posted into our blog. All right, last thing we're going to do is just delete that or hide it. If you want to go back and see it, it's there for reference, but I'll just hide it. It's in the impact folder. So I'm just going to go back, 
Let me just hide that post by clicking on the icon. Now it's not going to be on the blog, but it's there if you want to reference it. Hopefully this is helpful. So I know you were looking to add that feature and add some posts and videos. 